Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich as social screen, so let's continue on for last off. So it's been a few days since we've last uh, made any videos, and I apologize for that. Uh, but I had to start a brand new school year. Uh, with a brand new, you know, program, all that, so... Kind of, uh, very busy, very busy week. Didn't have time to actually make any of the, uh, the videos for the series. So I apologize for that, but here we are. Playing a fantastic game of Kaiserreich. Um, so last time, if I remember correctly, one, Bulgaria hates us and they're funding rebel groups in North Macedonia, or, um, is this Macedonia or is this Thessalonica? What, whatever you want to call this area of Greece here, Bulgaria's been putting some, uh, some troops in the area. They might declare war on us, which would be kind of bad. Trying to get some Balkan cooperation going up here. The war between the Ottoman Empire and the rest of... I see, no, it's already happening. Okay, well, th there you go. So the war between the Ottomans and the Egyptians are on their way. This would make sense to maybe Turkish Thaw. <laughs> Fully independent. Ha okay, well, one of these numbers I'm looking at, it does say it has less than 5% surrender progress. So if any victory point falls, I think this will get automatically canceled. So we'll probably wait until after the war to worry about this. Okay, cooperation. Who can I cooperate with? Just Bulgaria. And after we've done full recovery. Okay. So, apparently, Serbia and Romania we can't even talk to. Modify path. Negative 10% consumer goods. Okay, that seems pretty good. And this is for path of diplomacy, which is not you. It's you. I mean, negative 10% consumer goods and 5% stability. I'm, I'm happy to have those on my side. Don't get me wrong. A triple times get a war on the Egyptian or not on the Egyptian on the Ottomans. They've joined the Cairo Pact. Nothing unsur unsurprising there. At some point, Persia will join this war. At some point, Nez should also join the conflict. And there is the Boer War in the south. So how is our faction looking right now? Like, I mean, we got both major Scandinavian countries. We've got uh, the Dutch, France. We don't have we don't have um, Switzerland. We don't have Spain, unfortunately. But, I mean, it, it's still looking fairly good. Romania and Serbia, and they should enjoy the Moscow Accord when the war actually kicks off. And again, we're at 78% world tension, so the war should be beginning soon. I think once France is done doing modern equipment in nine days, they should switch over to take out Germany. So we gotta kind of be, we gotta be prepared for, for a war. And also, I think really our main uh, opponent probably actually won't actually even be the right spec, but probably be the Entente. So really, I probably should start preparing for a invasion of North Africa. Really, if we can, if we can kick out um, the French Republic out of Africa, that'll be looking pretty nice for us. Okay, Syria has now revolted against uh, the Ottomans. Probably actually, that took I feel like a little bit longer than usual. Here, okay, one point here. Does anyone Infantry attack and defense. I mean, that seems pretty good. And I mean, I think war is coming sooner than I, would, than I would like. So we'll get this guy going next. The Bulgaria. Sixth or four to 20 division. They could theoretically outnumber us. Which is something that we do have to worry about a little bit. How many boats do we have? We have 20 boats. Combine you all in the one fleet. So I have 16 ships, but also somehow 25 ships. Yeah, no, all of you. We have 25. Okay, we have 25 ships. Honestly, not bad. We could meet. Okay, we, we, we can't really rival the uh, the French Republic. But. I mean, I mean, maybe. I don't know how big the Communard Navy. 109 ships for you. Britain should have like 300, 194. So with the help of the Communards and hopefully the SRI, maybe we can have enough naval superiority that I could invade, let's say, Tunisia. And I would be I would be happy to get that done, if, 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 if at all possible. Okay, I do think the Ottoman Empire is doing pretty well for themselves. It looks like Persia has now invaded the Ottomans as well. But I mean, the Ottomans, they've almost completely destroyed uh, Syria. They're already pushing away to the Suez Canal. Part of Commune and the West Indies Federation. So West Indies Federation declared independence. Iraq is also declared independence. Look so yeah, how well they do. 
But the West Indies Federation, they've now gone syndicalist. And they've also been declared on war by, by Canada. Well, hopefully they can survive a decent amount of time. Maybe they can join our faction at some point in the future. And I will say, I think the CSA is also doing pretty well for themselves. Are you in the international now, though? You're still in technically no faction. But you have taken Milan. If you were to take Venice, that would basically be the end of the Republic. It would give you a direct border with the Austrians. But Italy and Austria having a direct border, I, I don't think it's one of the triggers for Austria joining the, the Reich's Pact. At least I don't believe so. I think maybe if, if the Asterisk killed the entire Republic and two Sicilies and is in the international, that might be a trigger. Again, I'm just I'm trying to remember. How's our Air Force doing, by the way? I mean, not super well. But again, could be worse. Could be worse. Can we train any more units? Yes, we can. We have a lot of artillery. We have a lot of infantry. I'm gonna if I switch over to 20 combat with. Oh, we don't have the, we don't have a lot of manpower though. So probably we want to save up for extended conscription for when the war actually starts. And once the war actually starts, get up to uh. Now what is it? It's mass extended conscription. Get some manpower to play some more units. To me, that makes the most amount of sense. It's also 39. What do we want to get for our tech? We're already getting the rifles. We don't have tanks at all. And honestly, I'm not too sure I really, we really need ta tanks too, too much right now in this campaign. Okay, if you can take this area, you'd split um, kind of both heels of the boots, you know, in half. Turkish thought. I mean, we could still do it. I, but I think we want to wait until after the war is actually over. If we can land reform. Let's do land reform. Get our way up to full recovery and see if maybe, just maybe, we can. Um, maybe we can be friends with, with Bulgaria. I don't know. I mean, they hate us. They despise us. What if I, like, improve relation with them? So you can't even, you can't actually improve relations that much. Um, and also, I don't know if relations actually matter at all in Kaiserreich. In order to actually change anything there. Okay, so we're gonna get, I mean, the, the bonus is here. All this is, this is essentially just a fancy way of wording that we're gonna get some building slots out of this. After that, we can do full recovery, which removes, I mean, actually, removing Black Monday would probably be pretty good for us so this does work out in our favor honestly give me another military factory and what do we need let's get more rifles russia's actually declared war on germany first by about a week so they've declared war on georgia azerbaijan ukraine they'll be at war with these guys soon as well okay russia's invaded the reich's pact and in a few more days, our allies will have invaded the Reichspact as well. So, we'll see kind of how that goes. Like, how many units do they have on the border right now with, with France? Not a ton, honestly. Like, I, I, very, very few, to be honest. So, maybe... As I do see the Ottomans are starting to lose a little bit of ground in uh, against Egypt. But they should kill a rock soon. If they can kill Nejd as well, they'd be looking pretty good. Okay, there is a brand new war. Can I declare a war? Actually, I want to... Are you a puppet? You are a puppet. What I want to do is I want to join your war immediately. And then we're immediately going to uh, declare war on you. Call our allies in. Because I want to get Belgium out of here. If we can connect... If we can connect uh, Paris with Amsterdam, I would be happy to see it. Yeah, so you guys are going to be fighting against Finland. Finland, I think, has really no chance. Finland usually loses against Russia in a one-on-one -on -one fight. If they also have to fight the uh, Norway and Sweden, you know, they're just kind of fricked at that point. Again, we're, we're in the Viltkrieg, but... For the most part, we shouldn't really have any major... instances. Also, you should join the Reichs or the International at some point as well. They did take back Milan, which is a bit sad. 
But you'll probably join the Reich's Pact. You might join the Reich's Pact, and you should join the International. Um. Yeah, so a war with, you know, the Reich's Pact, essentially. Germany's Asia. You know what? Fuck it. Let's, let's bring our allies into war against them as well. Yeah, so you're now at war with everybody. Indo-Chinese Federation's doing pretty well. Or just Indo-China. I forgot they, uh, they changed the name of that. Look, power is up by one per day. Not as much as I would like. I really, really want to get that uh, extensive mobilization so we get some manpower going. I think that will be really important for us. Relief of command, ideological loyalty, manpower. You know what? Actually, let's do it. 500 weekly manpower. That's 2,000 per month. That's actually... For a small country like Greece, that's pretty good, right? Like, what's our total population? 6.15 million? That's 2,000 a month. That's 24,000 a year. Yeah, I mean, that's like point, that's like 0.5% per year. And I will absolutely take it. In China, we can have a non-aggression pack. Seems okay to me. A lovely Independence Day as well. What else do you give us? We can plus 50 political power right off the bat. Their land is only getting completely destroyed. We love to see it. Yeah, so now... Um, again, Amsterdam and Paris are now connected. That'll really strengthen the international position against the Germans. I mean, they're already pushing their way in pretty nicely as well, so... Also, Two Sicilies somehow is actually pushing back the SRI. I'm not happy with that. Okay, Two Sicilies on the Reich's Pact. Nobody should be surprised by that development at all. Do I want to maybe send you, uh, like, a naval invasion down here? I don't actually... Let's, let's look at the, uh... Friendly shit. I mean, we have superiority right now. Mostly because there's not really any Reichstag members that border the Mediterranean. Something like maybe we could... Prepare invasion. We can maybe land in Bari, take a few provinces here. You know, yeah, let's do that. I, I don't think Albania is going to um, join a faction. If they were, I think they would have already have done so. Also, Chile has lost their war. Very sad to lose some comrades in South America, but it's not that big of a deal. Again, you're in the Entente. You guys will hopefully kind of either stay neutral or Argentina. If you were to invade Brazil, I'd be happy with that as well. I don't know who we're actually going to war with with this, but... I mean, again, this this is already looking quite nice. I'm, I'm already liking the way that this is kind of going for us. I will say Russia's not doing super well. They, they could be performing a little bit better, but... Overall, it's, it's not bad. Take a look. What about this port over here? And they have units in both these ports. They don't, they don't really know what to do with this area. But what if instead of invading here, we invade, like... Just invade Sicily. I think that could work out pretty well for us. Also, we need to get full recovery now. And what else do we want to research? Probably 1940 research, I think, at this point is fine. It's a little early, but that's okay. Are you navally invading? Or are you just moving units around? You're just kind of moving units around. But I want a naval invasion to go off as quickly as possible. And yeah, we are finding a little bit of naval support. Actually, no, they just landed. Okay, well, that, that works, out for my, works out for me. Let's just bring our units down to Sicily. Help our Italian allies. Because once they're, if they no longer have to fight a war down here, they can move their units, you know, on another front, and that'll be very nice. I want convoy escort down here, please. Please disengage. Okay, you're 47. I mean, you guys should be okay. We're gonna get some reinforcements in here, and you should be, you should all live happily ever after. And we sink a couple of Italian ships, so I'm happy with that as well. Okay, 
we're no longer technically encircled. Morocco is, the, I'm guessing, declared independence off of Germany. Have we lost any men? 104? That's fine. 104 is not a big issue for us at all. But if I can take this, we can connect with you. If Sicily were to fall, like, if we were to take this city, that might actually... Uh, okay, I don't think it's actually going to kill two Sicilies, but it'll get us close. It'll get us a nice chunk of the way there. 67. Okay, I want you here. I want you pushing like this. I want you pushing way up north. I want this unit dislodged. I want this port. Okay, so you've now been secured. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna say a single infantry right there. Uh, yeah, no, we wanna go send the conscription first. I need the manpower. Top priority again should be on reinforcements and I would like to train just like three units for now. Nothing too crazy. Okay, I want you this province. I wanna make sure that these guys can't take it. The Sicily campaign is going very, very nicely so far. Okay, we're going to arrive. We've got Italian units coming in here for the assist. And we want to be moving our way over to uh, Palmero. I want to take that city. We do need more oil. I want to get rifles upgraded. Upgraded like so. And then upgrade all of you as well. Who could I trade with for oil? Probably Persia actually would be a fairly safe bet. Let's go two factories with you. And our Air Force should guard, let's say, Blue Army, because they're the one actually in the field right now. Okay, keep the push going. 95. So far, we have lost 1,000 troops. Completely, completely reasonable. Completely acceptable losses. Like we've already, we've already killed. I mean, actually, it's been about 1,000 on each side. Okay, so it's not as wild as I originally thought, but it's still going okay. We got 40 days worth of fuel. The SRI is making good uh, progress down here with the assistance of the French. And Russia, of course, is just losing on every front. <laughs> oh, Russia, Russia, Russia. Okay, we just want to take this city. Actually, let's see if we can maybe take the whole island, get us around on this uh, province. Okay, so then once you're in this province, I want you continuing like this. Then I want you guys continuing down and around. And you guys should be safe. Bari is worth two. Oh, we probably need Toronto and we need Palmero. And with that, the uh, two Sicily should definitely collapse. Dublin's fallen. Dublin, I'm assuming it's in the right back, right? Yes. That's a good spot for the British to be in. Germany is just getting their fucking ass handed to them. And the West Indies Union, I think they took a little bit of territory... But they didn't take everything. And hopefully they should... Um, Riga has fallen. Okay, that's going to free up some Russian troops to go to... any, Literally anywhere else would, would be nice. Yes, again, you should be encircled. Yes, you are. This area actually doesn't matter anymore. We just need to take this city. I don't think a naval invasion is going to get us there. Is that, that's not enough to kill two sissies, right? No, we do need to take uh, Palmero. Actually, again, how... how um? They have no ships in the area. Okay. Blue army, I'm going to have you just go right here. We were way down to this province. We can take that, reposition our units anywhere else on the map. I'm actually going to have one red army unit. I'm actually going to reassign you. To our best defense general, and you're actually all one, 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 one. So you're all garbage. But I want to make sure these Athens does not fall for, I would say, obvious reasons. Because once we're done here, we might actually move these units up north to deal with the Italian Republic. But I will say, uh, Germany—they're not looking very good. They are—they are not looking good at all. 
bringing us over a little bit faster. I want to take this province first, so we can attack and get from two different provinces. Poland is in the Reich's Pact. That's fine. I really wish they joined the Moscow Accord, but what can he do? Okay, and Finland should slowly collapse. Okay, so Romania has declared their independence. Austria has intervened. Okay. So Austria is now... Do they border? I think they maybe technically border right here. But Austria is now in the war. That should, I think, trigger um, Serbia and Romania to join the war as well. Typically, that's what happens here. I think we want more guns. Three units being deployed. Get manpower's looking okay for now. And what do I want you to build? Fuel gain from refineries. Not really, kind of like not a big deal. What about some infrastructure? Yeah, let's put some infrastructure in Ipris. I think that seems reasonable. But I will say, now the Reich's Pact, it's looking pretty strong. But I mean, if you never join a faction, then... Actually, no, I'm going to reposition you guys. I want you right here. I want to see if you can make your way towards Venice. I am a little worried about Red Army. I'm not kind of just worried about our entire... Um, Home position in, in its entirety. We don't have that many units in actual Greece. Okay, give me some more units. Follow you up with... I guess we should start getting our uh, political fo fact, uh, focuses done. Let, let's let see if Bulgaria will say yes. Hopefully they do. I would, I would like it if they did. Um, we'll go with 1940 Research. Or 940 Quinn. But I think for now, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter episode. I think there's going to be a good time for us to end off for today. So thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not only click thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.